Hey everyone, it's the Amazing Fleck once again. If you're new to this channel, I'm currently at work for a 16 hour shift on break using the treadmill. We've had a number of different working titles for this themed event. Walkabout Wednesday, Treadmill Truths, Mobile Monday, and Fitness Friday. I just thought another one today I could use. Walking points instead of talking points. Clever, huh? Today's a good day. I'm able to get on the treadmill earlier than normal and I have a lot more energy and I had a good amount of sleep last night. I slept very well and got a lot done at the same time on my day off. I managed to film yesterday's video nice and early, was able to spend some time with a good friend and get a lot of housework done I've been putting off for a while. You know that thing you've been meaning to do for the past couple weeks? Well I did a couple of those yesterday so I, I feel like I get a gold star on my chart for that one. Yeah, I think we all have that. We all have a couple things that we've been meaning to do for a while, but we keep putting off because it's not as uh, imperative or, or as important as some other things that we have to get done in our lives. And that's the whole reason I have to make these lists all the time. You know, mix this with my ADD and, and with any other disorders I have that have gone undiagnosed. I have to have some level of organization in my life in order to actually get things done in a good way. And this year has been great for that so far. Uh, last year has been a good improvements, but this year, this whole making the video thing uh, has been making me hold myself accountable to keep up on the things I have to get done on a daily basis. And also gives me more ambition to not just meet the mark, but go above it and beyond it and make more things happen in my life. Instead of waiting for opportunities to come, I want to make more opportunities happen. I also got to thinking about how I call this a vlog or like a, a video vlog. I'm thinking that I might want to call these broadcasts dailies, like something that I just do every single day, uh, just a report on what's going on in my brain or whatever's on my mind. It's just a mixed bag. You know me, or maybe you don't know me. Either way, you're going to get to know me if you keep watching this content for the rest of the year. I'll keep putting stuff out every single day, for better or for worse. So if you want to know what's going on, you know where to find me. But then I want to highlight audience specific videos such as people in the circus and flow arts community, people who are more interested in consciousness and semantics and language, things about conspiracies, uh, book reviews, various books that I've liked over the years, a comedy news show that I've been wanting to do. And I have some rough scripting made and a number of different characters I made for this show. Videos on the value of open source freeware, open source software, various ones that I like that I've used that I've enjoyed and sharing that with whoever's willing to listen. I've been playing around with the idea of turning my whole entire living room into a recording studio so I can do a lot more with the space instead of having that same paisley couch that we all love, and Lucy loves it very much too, by the way. But we can do more with that space. I can have something that's a little more visual, take up a whole wall, and use the backdrops as necessary, put out maybe a desk, have a talk show, even if it's just a, a monitor of someone's face next to me that I'm talking to. I got, I got a bunch of ideas and I just have to put them to use and make them happen and they're slowly happening. The more and more I talk about them and the more and more I keep learning the uh, technology and make things happen and the more and more I do stuff, if I write more I discover that I get more things done. I thought that I'd like to try to aim for some consistency with these videos. So the dailies can be maybe a five minute digest, a quick little snippet of what's going on in my brain and then I can have the tutorials which may be a lot longer. I can have Something, I, I was playing around with the idea of maybe doing some aerobics or a stretch session. I thought that it might be uh, interesting to see what sort of feedback I would get if people are interested in doing aerobics, especially if I made it all cheesy and 80s and just silly and over the top. But also at the same time, something that people um, who are able-bodied to do it would be interested in doing it too. But the stretching I thought could be really cool. Um, an approach to yoga where it's a self-centered approach where instead of following a yoga teacher, you follow what your body needs. I have a lot of friends who are yoga teachers and I don't want to get them upset if I'm doing something like that. And I'm not qualified to teach yoga, so I wouldn't call it yoga. It would just be a stretch session with Fleck. But if I turn my living room into a recording studio and I move that Paisley couch away from the wall, I'll have a nice big section where I can film. I can get the, uh, the futon out of my living room and put the Paisley couch where the futon is. And that, that Paisley couch is so nice, it's so lightweight, I can just move it around. And I'll be able to have a living room and a recording studio and make it all nice, nice and modular and tuck it away and adopt more of a minimalistic lifestyle. 
I've been throwing away a lot of stuff the past couple years and giving a lot of things away and donating a lot of things to charity that I just don't use. Things I hold on to for way too long. So the things I haven't used in more than five years, I managed to get rid of. And the things that I've been using, I've been holding on to, of course. And even in my case with this video adventure I'm going on, I've been acquiring more equipment because I think I can do something with this. And I think that it'd be a fun new creative outlet for me to explore. And I've been having such a good time with it so far. It's been great. Well, hey, thanks very much for stopping by and for watching these videos and for subscribing and liking the ones that you like and sharing the ones that you think other people might enjoy. If this is your first time to the channel, maybe check out some other videos. It's always a mixed bag. You never know what you're going to get. I'm going to have a lot more to offer as time goes on. And uh, the proof's in the pudding, though. I'll let the videos speak for themselves. This is probably not for everyone, obviously, but for those who it is for and, and for the people who appreciate what I'm doing, thanks once again for being here. And uh, I'll see you around the next time. So, as always, before that next time rolls around, keep safe, be well, stay humble, and peace.